Hello my cuties, Jakey here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful Christmas holiday. So this week, uh, we don't have uh, a Majelicus episode for me to decipher. So this is technically not a deciphering the Majelicus kind of video. But even though we don't have an actual episode, we actually have a lot of Majelicus content this week. I don't know if you guys have watched it already. We have a cover uh, for the Majelicus episode 5, which will be out this Saturday. We have uh, I Got a Feeling sung by the Eversingers. Uh, I know you guys might be confused of like who they are, but you guys will get to know more about them very soon in episodes 5 and 6 and in the future episodes. And we also have a Christmas cover done by a lot of the cast members of the Majelicas. We have the All I Want For Christmas Is You, uh, a mashup with another song called Christmas and Hollis. Actually, fun fact, um, the idea of the song actually is originated from uh, a cover that I did two years ago. Uh, it was a really cringy cover. If you're a really old, old time viewer, I think it has to be really, really old time because that was when, when I only have like 20 cuties. So I did a cover, the same cover actually. So I'm not that original, I copied myself. So that's like a self plagiarism. <laughs> and um, I did this cover and it was really cringy back then. You can check it out, I can leave a link down there, but actually don't, it's really cringy. But the audio quality is bad, but the idea was there. And I'm so happy that I'm able to do it again with more people and the cover turned out really, really good. So I'm really happy. Uh, so yeah, it was actually an idea came... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it was an idea from two years ago. I can't even talk because probably I'm hungry. So that's why I can't really talk properly. And we also have a Christmas video uh, that just went up yesterday about uh, Christmas present and oh my god like you guys have like so many presents like I look at the comments and you guys have the best Christmas presents and and then here I am I sit here I got nothing this Christmas but but love and support from you guys which is actually enough already so but I didn't get any actual gifts from my family so yeah I'm like totally fine <laughs> but since we don't have an actual episode this week I asked you guys to leave me some questions with hashtag pick my questions uh, in the last deciphering the Majelicus <laughs> episode and I got a, quite a few questions so I'm going to answer them right now so let's do this all right so James Serpentese I don't know how to pronounce it ask what is your music in the Majelica well most of the music I use in Majelicus, it's uh, from a music library called Epidemic Sounds. And it's really awesome and I love going there and just like sit down and just like pick my categories and pick the moods of the music and just listen to all of them and, just, and I will like, oh this is a good one, this is not a good one and this one I can use it like for that kind of scene, you know? So that's how I, you know, I just sit down. I mean, you need to take time to pick good music and just save them and then when the moment comes, you just use them and just... and then it turned out great. I think so far, music has been um, a strong point of the Majelicas, right? Like, a lot of you guys love the music, right? I think. I mean, I love it. Lunix Stars asks, what was the inspiration for all of the Majelicas' power and how does the power affect the story plot? That's a really good question. Okay. Um, the inspiration for the Majelicas' power is actually, some of them are from, uh, is, are inspired by the voice actor or actress. Like, um, we didn't really get to show Lulu's power, but like, Lulu's, uh, Lulu, its voice is done by our amazing voice actress, Shadow Bun Buns. And so I, the name Shadow inspired us to give Lulu's power to be Shadow Manipulation. It's basically kind of like a sub-power of dark energy manipulation where she can like hide in a shadow or turn into shadow so she can be really sneaky, you know? She did that once, right? In episode 3 where she overheard the the conversation that the group have when it had to Sparrow's hideout. That was her. And the power affect the story plot. And I mean, the power definitely impacts the story plot like they need the power to do stuff like we have you know Melissa finding out power and then 
use her sound wave manipulation, get away that demonic squirrel, and then we have Quinsom using his ice power to freeze that thing, break the door, and it's just lots of things like Kaya using her manipulating her dinosaurs to do all kinds of stuff for her. I just hit something. Oh my god! But yeah, the power death they they impact the story in many ways, and you just have to you know figure it out. You know, yeah. I don't know. I don't really know how to answer that question actually. <laughs> Elena Golinus, I hope I got it right. She asked, "How did you start this role play?" I mean, the idea was here a long, long time ago. But I just like, but the moment that I saw it, it's just like I was in US back then, and I was like, "We should start it." And, and I just start messaging people. It's like, "I have a role play. Do you want to be in it?" You know. It's gonna be like a magic school roleplay, and I want you to be a part of it. And we're gonna work together to, you know, do this. So, and I and I got a group of people. I opened this court, and that's how we start the discussion and everything. And yeah, basically, Kitty Gaming asks, "Can you work with Tiger in your roleplay?" Sure, let her know, and I will. And it will be fun, you know, to work with different people. So yeah. <laughs> Adorable Kawaii Nuss asks, "Who does Sally Green Gamer play?" Oh, Sally plays the amazing Raina in the series. So she was in episode three, episode four. She's also gonna have have a pretty big scene in episode five, where um, so she's the one with the the purple hair. Skin is designed by Oni Mel. This thing is about to fall off. <laughs> and she had a scene with. Kai, where she talk about like we catch them, we need the white stone, and, and she says things like she needs change basically. So that's her character. So she's she's a sparrow. So you can go back episode three and check out that scene. Red Phoenix asks, is there any fire Majelica? There is actually, and it's actually happening very soon. I mean, if you look at the intro, you will see someone that has fire. It's just it's falling. No, not. <laughs> This is falling. <laughs> Why did I put this? I look ridiculous, actually. <laughs> but um, there is someone that can control fire, and we'll, you guys will know more about it very soon. Yeah, and lava. I don't know. Maybe lava sounds cool, but we have to treat them very carefully because they may like burn on a whole set. So yeah, that's what you have to think. It's not about what powers you want. It's like how am I going to make it? In Minecraft, how am I gonna make it in After Effects? Where it's gonna be hard to do it, you know? That's the thing, so you know, thing when you are making a roleplay, you know? So Alyssa, a, a boy, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but she asks, what's going to happen to Melissa? And is Melissa and Chase hap gonna happen? I love the ship, Chalissa. Well, Melissa is just—I mean, she's new. She 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 was born and raised as a cipher, and now she's a Majelica. So she has a lot of things to learn, and right now at the moment, she's like, kind of like okay with it. She's like adjusted, adjusting with it, and pretending like everything is fine. You see, she 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 adapted it pretty well since episode three. She like she's like I got this and everything, but like, does she really got this? You know, that's the question. Like, like she. Everything looks fine for now, but is it really fine? And she still needs a lot of things that she needs to learn, like power-wise, like spells and all the normal, like we have like simplex and pattern, and that's more spells that she has to learn, and more things that she has to learn, and how she adjusts the new dynamics. Like she's not a cipher anymore, but should she still be close with other ciphers, and who should she be friends with, and how should she treat the others? You know. And is Chalissa gonna happen? I mean, I cannot tell ya. You know, I mean, it's definitely a possibility. You know, <laughs> I cannot tell you because if I tell you, answer it directly, that's like spoiling the uh, the whole thing. But I definitely see Chalissa. I definitely see the potential of it happening. Okay, and I definitely know how many of you guys ship it. I am aware of it, so and yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Deucemon asks, "How long did it take to plan this amazing series?" First of all, thank you so much um, for calling it amazing. Um, how long did it take? 
it actually took really long. Like the idea came to me in like March or April. Like I got this idea. Like people ask me, Jakey, why don't you make? Um, because I had this series called Spice of Life, which is like way too complicated, too many metaphors. And people were like, why don't you make a high school role play? And I was like, back then I was like. Mm, you know, like if I were to make it, I have to make it really good, you know, because I know a lot of people make school role plays and a lot of people have magic role plays. And I was like, if I were to do it, I have to make it really good. So I had started having this idea, started planning it, and then I said it earlier, like it was around July, and I I finally got the time to just sit down and write down all the backstory and just contact everyone. It's like I have a role play, so do you want in? You know, like I talked to Jane, like do you want in? Because you just Jane is always there, and it's like. And I go to Blossom, like, I have a role play, and then Flipster and everyone, just, like, we need to, I have a role play, so, help me, please. <laughs> and then, we start planning it, plan, plan, planning it, <laughs> making the characters, started writing the scripts, and then, it took a few more months to get the server, build the things, and then, to start learning After Effects, that's very important, because not a lot of people use Special Effects, and I'm, like, one of the few that does it, and I had to learn all the things by myself, like from scratch. So I'm proud, and I had to make the intro. It took the longest time because this was a, that was the first time I started making it using that software. So yeah, it took it took like like more than half a year. So I guess good things take time. So Maddie Maddox asks, why does Melissa's real parents come to her after recent events? I don't really understand this question, but I think it means... Because Melissa's parents that you see is adoptive parents. So real parents. If you mean real parents, like her actual biological like dad and mom, then I actually don't know. Like maybe they will come soon or maybe they'll come like later. Like, I mean, that's something that Melissa needs to figure out. Like. Now that, then, now that she knows some, her parents are Majalica, you know, have powers at least. So she needs to do some searching, and we're gonna we're gonna get to see that storyline very soon in like episode seven and eight, where she start to ask question about you know what who she really is, you know. T brother asks, when will Quinston show his fire power? Well, I kind of actually mentioned it earlier already, but like. Just stay tuned for episode 5, because you might be able to start seeing something. Blazing Animation asks, I have two questions. Okay, two questions. First, when will Astrology.com come back again? I don't think it's it's ever like gone. It's always there. Like, it's, it was there episode 1, it was there episode 2, episode 4, we make a reference to it again. So, it's always gonna be there. Like, as long as Melissa is here, Astrology.com is always gonna be here you know so it's it's always here <laughs> so i don't think it's gone and then second question is when will you use friends version of the intro of the for the official series oh if you guys haven't watched it murky Bruce, aka Fran, he made uh, a really awesome parody for episode one of majakas and he had an intro which is hilarious i mean maybe Kibo is the kawaii kid and asks, why didn't Melissa notice he was gay? It was obvious. Well, I mean, sometimes you just don't notice. I mean, they, they gave a lot of hints, you know, with Kaya say like, he's off the table. I mean, she's just, she wants him, you know? So she don't care anything. She's just like, I want him at that moment. And then no one like really say it to her. So maybe, I don't know. You never know, it's Melissa. Finally, Lily Defries. Defries. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Ask if you could voice act for some other character in a Majalicus, who would it be? Actually, I'm going to voice. I was already a dad, Ted, uh, Melissa's adoptive parent who he got caught. I was the voice already. And then I actually have a character for myself that is gonna be shown in episode 5. So, um. But I don't have lines on episode 5, but I will say something in episode 6. But you will see me in episode 5 already. That was my character. Anyway, that's it for all the questions. But before I end this video, I actually want to look at some of the fan arts that were sent from all of you guys. I actually received a lot of fan arts. So the first one that I got is from Choco Bunnies. 
and she made a really amazing Melissa fan art. Look at this, her hand, like in the intro, like, like this. This is really, really good. Like, look at this. I love it so much. Like the light. I just love, like, when the pictures are like really bright and like all the lights. Because if you know my thumbnail, I like it to be really like bright with all the lights. You know. The next fan art is sent by I'm feeling pitchy, and look at this, a Chase fan art. Finally, look at it. I love it so much. Like, it's just amazing. Like, <laughs> this is totally his face when he sees Melissa. So, Winter, that's a long name. Winter, Winter's Cat CID Midwife. I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but she did a Chilisa fan art. Look at this. They're, oh, they're underneath the mistletoe. By the way, that's not actually like Majelica's storyline, it's just Christmas video. So, Chilisa is not official or anything yet. So, yeah. Just so you guys know. I don't want to get you guys hopes up, okay? <laughs> That's just for Christmas, okay? And then she also make a Kaya fan art! Like, finally! Kaya deserves fan art, right? But, like, Kaya... Yes, she captured Because Kaya is supposed... Kaya is always cheerful. Except when she's with Ivy. She just, like, she just, she just doesn't like Ivy. And she's pretty nice to the other people. In case you haven't noticed. At least she warns Melissa, you know? And then Mary Lily sent us a Kaisen fan art. Look at this, they're like holding their hands and there's a tree. Very Christmas, thank you so much. You guys probably seen this fan art already. Oni sent another Kaisen fan art. You guys probably already see it um, in the music video. And then it's once again Kaisen fan art. Apparently a lot of people like Kaisen. Great. Toast sent us this Melissa fan art and I am loving it. Like look at the face. This is the face where she makes, it's like when she looks at Quinston, it's like, I am going to get Quinston. Quinston is mine, you know? That's the kind of face she makes, you know? Finally, Amelia Snippers sent this amazing Melissa fan art. Melissa's getting all the fan arts, where is everyone else? But look at this, she has this like waves around her and then the blue color tone is simple but yet it's really beautiful, so thank you so much. And that's all the fan art. I hope I didn't miss anything. But if I miss, I will probably show it in the next video. I hope I didn't. But anyway, thank you for all the fan arts and thank you for all the questions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And yeah, smile and happy and be a cutie. And I will see you guys next time. And once again, episode 5 comes out on 30th. 30th. So make sure to go watch it. Bye!